Hi, my name is Rocio, and today I'll be helping you and teaching you how to divide. So first things first, you're going to need your division house. This is your division house. Then, you're going to need your dividend. My dividend, in this case, is going to be 72. So you put your numbers inside, and then you close it. Okay, when you close it, you're going to separate it. Then, you're going to grab your divisor, and you're going to put it outside. Your divisor is going to be the the number you're going to be multiplying. You're going to be dividing it. So, I'm going to divide it, in this case, times of dividing it by 4. So then, you're going to grab the 4. You're going to go into the multiplies chart, and you're going to look for the multiplies of 4. So, 4 times equals 7. So, you're going to look for a number that is this smaller uh, of 7. So, when you find a number that is smaller, you're going to put it up here. So, in this case, I'm going to multiply it. So, 4 times 1 equals 4. 4 times 2 is 8, so that's bigger, so you can't use it. Because it's, that's going to give you a wrong answer. So, you're going to grab 4 times 1. Because that's the only one that you can make. Then, you're going to subtract it to minus 4. That's going to give you a 3. Then, you're going to give the 3 up and to the right. That's going to be a 32. Then, 32 minus... Then, you're going to grab the 4 again, and the multiply of 4, you're going to go, and you're going to look for a 32. So, if you multiply 4 times 8, that's going to give you 32, so you're going to subtract 32. Then, but you're going to put the 8 in here. So, 32. So, 2 minus 2 is a 0. 3 minus 3 is a 0 again. So, your remainder is a 0. So, then, you're going to grab... The 18 for you to check that if it's right. 18. And then you're going to multiply it times 4. 8 times equals 8 times 4. 8 times 4 is 32. So you're going to put the 2 in here and the 3 in here. So 4 times 1 is 4. Then you're going to add the 3. Four, five, six, seven. That's going to give you 72. So then you're going to add your remainder. So my remainder is a zero. So you're going to add that. So two minus two plus zero. That's a two. And seven minus seven plus two. Seven plus zero. That's a seven. So if your number is um the same as your dividend, that's going to be the answer. And yeah, thank you.